So I was just doing a content plan for a crew that I've recently onboarded, right? And it's made me remember the, the whole purpose of EIOFM, right? Like I started off in EIOFM. That's where I, you know, that's how I got into the OFM space, right? And it made me remember the, the best part about EIOFM, right? And it's being able to do all the content yourself, right? You don't have to rely on other people doing it. You don't have to come up with a bunch of content plans where the creator might not want to do the videos because they're shy and they, they don't like that kind of content. And EIOFM kind of removes all that aspect from OnlyFans and just OFM in general, right? And it made me remember, right? Because I was just doing this content plan and stuff and I'm thinking, oh, what if the creator's too shy to do this kind of content? What happens if she doesn't want to do this? What happens if she does it wrong? What happens if the quality's not up to scratch, right? And EI removes all that problems, right? That's literally the best part about EI OFM. And a lot of questions what people ask me is what's better, EI OFM or normal OFM, right? And it completely depends on your situation, who you are, your models, and just everything, right? Like, you've got to think, if you hate to speak to real people, you hate being business partners with models and women, and you don't know how to get clients, then EI OFM is 100 times better for you. And it makes sense, right? A lot of people in OFM, OFM struggle to get their first client. That's the main issue about OFM is getting the clients because it's so saturated now and OFM and managers have had such a shitty name that people just think they are scammers and they're not going to help them. So a lot of models don't even want to work with them to begin with. Then if you introduce the competition, you're competing with thousands upon thousands of other people to try and get the same model, which of course it makes it hard for the average person. So it's like someone like me, for instance, I have a personal brand. I've got a YouTube, I've got reels out there on separate accounts to get models. So it's a lot easier for me to actually get models. So OFM makes sense to me personally rather than EI because there's more money in normal OFM and I don't struggle to get models because of my personal brand. While some people that don't have a personal brand out there, they're too shy to put the face out there and they don't want to do that, right? But if you really want to make it in OFM and you want to have an OnlyFans management agency, then you're going to have to do what no one else is willing to do. Out of all the managers out there and all the people who want to become an OFM manager and have an agency, right? How many of them do you think actually put their face out there and how many do you think don't? I guarantee you at 99.9% .9 of their managers out there don't even put their face online and they wonder why they don't have a client yet. And it's that simple and that, that's the main issue with OFM is getting clients and I know that's why a lot of people feel. So AI OFM kind of removes that aspect out of it. You don't have to worry about getting clients, pleasing them, getting results for them. Because you can literally just go onto Comfy UI or any other generator and just see it. Look, I want a, a model who's got like just certain features. And you've got a client that easy. Of course, it's not a real person, but you have a client. You can start marketing, you can start chatting, you can start making reels, making money within a day of starting this business model, which isn't really possible with OFM because it's usually going to take the average person probably like months to get their first client simply because they're not willing to do what it takes. So I would say that is the biggest advantage of AI OFM is simply because it's so it, you can generate a hundred different models and you've got a hundred clients realistically. If, if you've got the manpower to handle it, you have a hundred clients. I'd say that is the biggest drawback of OFM and the easy, the, the best part of AI OFM is how easy it is to make models, right? And the second thing is just creating content. Like, like I was saying at the start, I had to do a content plan. I've got to worry about all these things. Will the model do it? Will the quality be up to scratch? And all these things things while well, if you're in EIOFM you control that entire thing so if anything goes wrong in the business it's, it's the manager's fault it's the guy who's managing the model's fault if your reels aren't getting views if your reddit isn't getting upvotes you're not bringing in subscribers that's completely on you while in OFM you, you're kind of relying on the model as well to give you the content maybe they won't give you the content maybe the quality is not up to scratch they're not doing the content once the what need, is going to go viral while EI you can literally just do it all your Yourself, especially with the way AI is going recently, right? You can do so much with it. Like someone was showing me videos the other day of a girl on a bike where she's like recording her on a bike. And when I first started, you could not do that, right? It was more or less impossible because the generators out there weren't advanced enough. While in today, you can make viral reels easily with AI by if you're if you've got a bit of creativity, it's so easy to make viral reels with AI. So, and you're the only person who's responsible for making them reels. You don't have to rely on someone else.
like I remember seeing in a Telegram group one time that EI OFM is for people who field normal OFM, it's for all the losers, right? And I don't quite agree with that. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, a lot of the people move over to EI OFM because of the issues I've just said. Getting models and not being able to like rely on the models and having communication and all that stuff. So yeah, it is true to an extent, but I know a lot of people out there have came into the business, like myself, have came in just because they thought, oh wow, this is a great opportunity, which it's a brilliant opportunity. EI is going to take over millions of jobs and OnlyFans is one of them. But a lot of people out there think, oh, you're just a loser who can't do normal or family, you couldn't sign your first client. It's not completely true. For a lot of people out there, it will be true. But for people like myself and a lot of you out there in my community and who subscribe to me, you probably just found out about this. You probably didn't have a clue what OFM was until you found out about EI OFM. Like, I think... EI, OFM versus OFM, whichever one you choose is based on your situation, right? So me personally, I started off in EI, OFM, I made a bunch of videos about it, I built an audience, and of course with EI, OFM, a bunch of normal OFM people came over asking me questions about EI and how they can in implement it into their business. So I got some good connections from EI, OFM, so it makes sense for me to move over to OnlyFans management, like real people, because you got to think, there's a shit ton more money in it, but the only drawback is it's you usually hard to get models but that issue was out the way because I have a personal brand and I have connections who can give me models help me with it help me with outreach and all them different things right well the average person the they don't really have a personal brand like yeah some of you out there may have a personal brand but a lot of you out there will be scared basically to put your face out there and do what it's, what's willing to actually get you models right Putting your face out there gives a trust factor. It shows that you actually have knowledge on the subject or more and more likely to go sign with you. But a lot of you out there don't want to do that. So if you are like that, you don't have any connections, you're not willing to put your face out there, I would say AI OFM is the way to go forward, right? And if you succeed with AI OFM, you have results. You've shown that you can get results for an AI model, which means you can for a real model. Then you can slowly move over to OFM, which is going to bring you more money in. If you are enjoying the video so far, please make sure to like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And there is also a free telegram down below, feel free to join. So realistically, none of the business models are better than each other, right? Like, the thing is, they've all got the pros and they've all got the cons. So for instance, EI models, it's easier to just whip up models, you don't have to worry about clients, you don't have to worry about content, you don't have to worry about pleasing it. It's all agency based, so if you don't perform, it's your fault. While real models, it's it's very difficult to get clients, but once you get clients, you're gonna make a shit ton more money. That, that's the main thing about normal OFM is the money, right? The money what you can make with normal OFM if you have a good client is literally fucking, it's insane compared to AI OFM. Like AI OFM, you might be able to make 10K a month with an AI model, while real you can make 100K if there's enough effort put in. But the, the only downsides with OFM is that, of course, you've got to get the clients and you've got to make sure the content's up to scratch, you've got to follow up with them, you've got to speak to people. So it's really up to you, right? Would you prefer a shit ton more money or would you rather easy to get clients? Either way, just, just start one of the business models and make something, build an empire of fucking either ER models or real models. Just do something and stick it in if you actually do want to succeed. Anyways, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me and like the video if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to join the Telegram as well. See ya.